Jake Ludington here at Discover 2015 in London, and I'm here with Neil McDonald. And Blade System is something that you guys have had around for a long time. Tell me, where is that going? Well, Blade System is very, very broadly used by many, many customers around the world. We've been very fortunate to have it deployed at the kind of scale that we have. This summer, we've introduced two new blades for Blade System, our Gen 9 BL660 four socket blade and our WS460 graphic server blade. We're continuing to invest in Blade System as we move forwards. I've already got engineers working on processor refreshes that are coming down the line for the existing Gen 9, and I've got engineers working on the Gen 10 BL460 that will go into that environment. So, so, so Blades are, Blades are going to continue to be around? Ab absolutely. We've got, we've got customers who've made significant investments in that platform and have got legs to exploit it into the future. So we'll have products, and we've publicly committed to a product on those platforms through at least 2018, and we support product for another five years after the end of its life. So there's plenty of leg room in the uh, life cycle of the C-Class infrastructure, and we're going to continue with that, just like we're going to continue with our ProLine DL platforms, the rest of our server portfolios and form factors. So, of course, the, the hype of the show, if you will, is the, the Synergy platform. Yeah. Um, Tell me a little bit about that and how that fits into the kind of bigger vision for HP. Well, we're really excited about HP Synergy that we've announced here this week. And it's really the industry's first composable infrastructure. Instead of treating an infrastructure as numerous individual devices that need to be separately managed and cared for and fed, our vision with Composable is to create an infrastructure that's fluid as pools of resource, pools of compute, of storage and of fabric. And we wrap those pools of resource with software-defined intelligence that greatly simplifies the whole operational life cycle of provisioning and deploying and managing and updating infrastructure. Then we put a unified API across all of this that easily integrates into management frameworks and other tooling that our customers have in their shops. But what's really cool about it is so many customers are struggling with the challenge of meeting the needs of traditional IT, where we build infrastructure for specific business processes, and then we never want to touch it. And reconciling that with the challenge of responding to the lines of business in developing new apps and services faster as they try to attack opportunities in the ID economy and meet platforms, uh, put platforms in place that meet the needs of customers that they can bring to their business or expand their business with their existing customers. And there, they've got to move incredibly fast. It's all about speed. It's all about time to market. And taking a traditional approach to deploying and managing infrastructure means that you can't develop and deploy apps and services fast enough. The challenge has been, how do you do both in an IT so, so how do you do both? Well, you do both with HPE Synergy. With a single infrastructure, as a fluid pool of resources, you can meet the needs both of your traditional workloads and of cloud native apps developed in an agile world for the ID economy. And you can do all of that through a single infrastructure with a consistent API and a consistent set of management tools. And because of the intelligence in the infrastructure, your operations are going to be much more efficient. Because we can treat all of these resources as infrastructure as code, you can make your developers much more efficient and help them prepare apps more quickly. And when they're ready, the ops teams can very, very rapidly bring those into production. So you've got Synergy on one hand, mm -hmm. and you've got the Blades on the other hand. Is Synergy like a layer that could sit on top of Blades so that you could, could make the Blades composable, or, or how does that work? So Synergy is a new class of infrastructure. It's an example of composable infrastructure. But part of that composable experience is about using automation and using templates and managing pools of resource. All of that experience you can begin to get exposure to using HPE OneView on existing platforms, on ProLiant DL rack mounts, on Blade System, on 3PAR, on a number of our existing products. And we've got customers who are using OneView today and using that API I talked about, using the ecosystem of partners tools that consume that API to start on their composable journey. Then when they're ready, they can move forward with a system that's been designed from the grounds up to be fully composable, get a richer experience of composability with even more enhanced experiences around speed of deployment, reduction of cost in their operating environment, and enabling their developers to deliver more of those critical applications to the line of business more quickly. So, so OneView kind of lets you uh, kind of like crawl, walk, run your way 
from your existing infrastructure to the point where you've got Synergy fully deployed? You can absolutely begin with one view today on your existing infrastructure to start your journey on composability, and then in the fullness of time, deploy a composable infrastructure built from the ground up, which is HPE Synergy. All right, that sounds very cool. Thanks, Neil. Thank you.